Northern Heights Public School was awarded a $3,000 grant from the Good Life Kids Foundation to introduce a regular fitness program for all grade 4 through 8 students. With the end of the school year comes an end to the program, but all involved are convinced the principals learned will carry on well into the future. Before in class, only one person would put their hand up, and now the whole class is putting their hand up, and that's great. And before I could only do like 30 sit-ups, now I could do maybe 50, and that's awesome. And I think it's just helping the environment of the classroom. And when Steve comes here, everyone gets um, all their energy burnt out, and they get ready to, you know, work out, and it's really cool. And my favorite part of the program would have to be like just seeing all the teamwork that everyone puts in and hope we could do it more again. Well, when I first started here at Northern Heights Elementary School, I noticed that a lot of the kids were complaining about doing the physical activity. Um, throughout the weeks, we've pushed them pretty hard, and now they're a lot more active and a lot more willing to participate, and they seem to get excited. When they come in, they run up to me immediately and they're like, Steve, I learned a new exercise here, let me demonstrate it for you. And so that's really exciting for me as a personal trainer. It's changed my life because um, I could do more push-ups, more sit-ups, everything, more of that. And it's made me a better student because I've been focusing on my work more and not like goofing off in class. Because after the workouts, I've burned off all my energy. I just have time to focus on math, get better grades. It's very enjoying and it helps a lot of kids out because we're like we're getting active and we're not sitting around in class and we're not like outside we're really getting fit and we're not just sitting around on the wall on the tree kids are out playing basketball playing soccer and being active. I think it's helped me uh, like do my work better. I think my grades probably have improved. Um, I think I'm way more fit now because I never really focused on exercising. I just did whatever I wanted, stayed inside. But now since we do it um, three times a week, I am exercising a lot and I think I'm way more healthier. Grade 7 and 8 teacher Davy Taylor is proud of what they've been able to accomplish in such a short period of time and is excited to see how the students have changed. I feel fantastic the way the program has gone. You know, I think the most important piece that we need to think about with the program is sustainability. The uh, kids have definitely got the message. They're more active. They're eating more healthfully. Uh, we see behaviors have really settled at our school. Kids are happy. Kids are outside playing. Uh, everyone just seems to be more active and engaged. The sustainability piece is where we want to make sure that this doesn't end at the end of, you know, eight weeks, ten weeks. We want kids to continue all summer. So we're having those conversations and I know the kids are excited to be out cycling and running and doing all these things. Uh, we hope next year too that there'll be a way to continue this through phys ed or through just you know setting the standard here, letting the grade seven eights um, lead by example and do the right thing with these younger kids. Although one of the goals of the pilot program was to get students moving and fit, perhaps one of the greatest benefits has been how students have changed their eating habits. I think it's just so important, you know, they have actually proven that exercise makes you smarter. Uh, John Rady's book called Spark, it, it identified this fact that if you get kids moving, get them exercising, it'll improve their scores at school, it'll help them be more alert in the classroom. So I think when we combine all of these things, especially the nutrition piece, when even kids come home and they spread that message to their parents that, you know, maybe they don't want the uh, Lunchable anymore, that they'd rather have some fresh fruit or some fresh veggies in their lunch, and they see it in the classroom. Classroom. They see that um, we're providing these things, but we're noticing it's creeping into everyone's lunch pail now, that kids are coming to school and they've got just this colorful, vibrant lunch full of all kinds of different things that maybe we didn't see a year ago. So it's fantastic. To help students continue with their workouts during the summer months, Good Life Fitness has offered each grade 7 and 8 student a free membership to their club. For Shaw TV, I'm Jonathan Perriard.